Hello everyone and welcome to another session on engrossing agriculture. One stop for agriculture. We are back with another video after a pretty long break because of the technical problems with my laptop and obviously the pandemic. But now we will start with another great enthusiasm and cover all the important topics required for competitive exams along BSc Honors Agriculture course. In the coming videos, we will talk about crop physiology and other subjects and departmental subjects like plant pathology and more on forestry, nematodology, etc. But to understand most of the subjects like plant pathology, post-harvest management and cultivation of crops, we must know the crop physiology. Basically, it deals with the functions and processing of the crop. So let's start the video without any delay. In this video, we will talk about plant physiology, crop physiology, processes in crop physiology, functions of crop physiology, and obviously the importance of crop physiology in agriculture. There's a, you can say, understanding that plant physiology and crop physiology is one of the same thing. I would say it's majority, like 90% of the same thing, but the 10% which is different in the plant physiology and crop physiology is what makes a difference. And the impact of crop physiology more advanced and better than plant physiology. Plant physiology general potential of a plant and its interaction with environmental factors decides its growth and development by influencing and modifying certain internal processes. Now what does it mean? It means that all the processes which are taking place inside the plant is that the respiration, the photosynthesis, the plant is making food, plant is taking the breath, plant is moving in the plant, how do they do it? Are there genes involved? Yeah, environmental factors involved here so all these will result in the physiology of plant i guess physiology is not a new word to all who are pursuing agriculture we have uh, studied physiology in class 11th and 12th so physiology is basically the internal happening like what is going on inside the plant body next we have plant physiology is a study of vital information vital information means all the information which is required for plant growth and habitat it is a science concerned with processes and functions which i already told you the processes and the functions processes means respiration photosynthesis movements water uptake water release mineral uptake and many more and along with their function the responses of plant to environment what does this mean the response of plant to environment if there is a heavy rain then how will the plant respond if there is shortage of water how will the plant respond if it is attacked by fungus or bacteria or virus or any other insect, how will it respond? And the growth and development, obviously, the, how the plant grows from a seed, how does a huge tree is formed? All this is plant physiology. Now moving down, it helps to understand various processes such as photosynthesis, respiration. I won't repeat the processes as I've already told you before. Next, we will have crop physiology. To understand crop physiology, we must understand what is crop. It is a group of plants grown as a community. I hope you can get the meaning of community here. That means in a group, in a large, not a single plant is grown. Multiple plants are grown at a single time and in a single locality. The locality is called field. For a specific purpose, for example, if you are growing cotton, in a specific locality means in one acre if you are growing cotton what is the purpose our purpose is not to improve the environment not to help in providing oxygen to us purpose is more economic we need to extract the cotton fiber from the cotton similarly in plantations tea coffee rubber all these plantations will need community plant growth in a specific locality and specific purpose what is crop physiology all the fuss about the crop physiology what is crop physiology definition Crop physiology is a study of ways in which plant physiology, as I told you, they are not different, they are 90% same. Plant physiology processes are integrated to cause whole plant response in community. Means in plant physiology, we only talk about one single plant, only one plant we talk about. But in crop physiology, we talk about the entire field. The subject matter of crop physiology includes the way in which knowledge of plant physiology is applied for better management of crops. I guess it should be clear. It means affect the crops, how it will in, you know, increase the yield, how it will increase the strength of the plant. Processes. Processes means natural events or sequence of events. How it will take place. Like, In the series of 1 to 10 or 1 to n number. 
So there's photosynthesis, respiration, in glycolysis example, which is the most common example, a 10 step reaction. Every single step has to be done. Like first of all, glycolysis, then it will be Krebs cycle, after that it will be electron transport. We cannot do electron transport before glycolysis or Krebs cycle. So we must add here something which is specific order. In a specific order is known as a process. All these different processes like photosynthesis, respiration and etc. will be covered in following videos individually according to the importance. Uh, now, as you can see, the plant physiology, they're all interlinked. Photochemistry, cellular interaction, environmental interaction, plant morphology, and molecular cell biology. In this work, the main important you need to understand ki in ke under which which different things will be included. Let's start with plant morphology. Plant morphology contains growth and development. Environmental interaction means absorption, absorption and stress management. Stress can be biotech, abiotech and etc. Then phytochemistry. What is phyto means plant and chemistry means normal the chemicals in nature and all. This is the plant growth hormones. Hormones interaction. Cellular interaction means the things which contains inside the cell or in between the cells which is absorption again of water and minerals and different responses molecular cell biology which is respiration and respiration and photosynthesis function which basically means natural activity of cell or tissue or organ or any chemical substance natural activity means natural tendency that how it will work under any given circumstances or in any situation a kisi situation may plant kaise kaam karega how to work that is function so second task of plant physiology is to describe and explain the function of all organ tissue cell and cell organelles in plants and the function of each chemical constituent, whether it can be iron, molecule, or macromolecule. This comes from the case that a plant is a plant that is a plant that is a chemical substances, like resins, toxics, different, different molecules, all the chemical substances, hormones, and ions. So, how all these work? How do they function? How do they change? How do they change? How do they change? How do they change? plant ki growth ke kya effect padta hai so that's it the function of all these chemical substances and cell tissue and everything else so both process and function are dependent on internal ha, internal and modified by external factors this is uh, again important because it carry a high weightage you can normally ask you that how are or what is the affecting processes and functions so internal factors and external factors what are internal factors these are nothing but the genetic genetic factors inside the plant the genes of the plant modified by external factors external factors means environment light temperature rainfall etc so what is the relation between internal and external factors and how the external factors which is the environment affect the processes and functions last but not the least is the essential overall goal of plant physiology is to evolve a detailed and comprehensive knowledge of all natural phenomena that occurs in living plants and thus understand the nature of growth this is, i guess this is pretty clear ki kaise plant mein kya kya cheeze ho rahi hain plant ke andar like human jab hum kehte hain ki human mein blood flow kar raha hai human hum breathing kar rahe hain to plants are the same thing because plants are living organisms so all these things all these happenings which are inside the plant are important to be understood importance of crop physiology in agriculture plant physiology or crop physiology provide a platform for getting better yield in crops that's why it is converted to crop physiology 
studying these phenomena with a view to develop better crop management practices one point from subject matter of crop physiology see from plant physiology we came to crop physiology that's how they are really linked seed physiology then we have optimum seedling growth and plant population growth measurement of crops harvesting index nutro physiology transpiration efficiency or water use efficiency and post harvest physiology i'll just explain you briefly all these and then you can see you can read them in the slide share you can get these ppt and you can know more about them from there i'll just briefly explain individually seed physiology what is seed physiology seed is very important for the plant for the agriculture for the maintenance of the inheritance of genes because seed is the propagating unit of the plant isi seed se hi sab kuch hota hai sahi sahi plant ka janam hota hai so seed physiology is ki seed kaise grow karega if this is a seed how it will grow how it will germinate isme se plant kaise bahar aayega agar plant aaye isko water kaise aayega iske andar so all these things are seed physiology so dormancy seed kaise grow karega wo sab seed physiology mein aata hai next is optimum seedling growth and plant population if we are growing multiple seeds in a single land then will it affect the growth of other seed or will it affect the growth of itself kyunki is nutrition ki competition hoga theek hai sunlight ke liye competition hoga so different inputs jo hain different inputs which will be needed will it be efficient for the plant to grow so optimum seedling growth and plant population also is explained by crop physiology growth measurement of crops this is important i will explain you uh, a bit in detail here but next it will be covered in future videos the first pre requirement for higher yield is total dry matter production per unit area means ek field mein aap kitna crop uga sakte ho kitna plant aapke honge kitne leaves aur jo stem hai uska mass kitna hoga that's your dry total dry matter production per unit area there's a formula for this you can see the formula here and you can use the formula to calculate the dry matter production of the crop of the field harvest index harvest index means after the division after difference of total amount of dry matter produced the photosynthesis used in respiration is the net product of photosynthesis isko kaise samjhenge maan lijiye aapko 10 kg of food photosynthesis ne provide kiya usme se 70 kg plant ne use kar liya for the growth and development so the jo 30 kg aapke paas bach gaya that's the total dry matter produced by the respiration which is the economic harvesting index isko hum ye jayega pa seeds mein plant mein aur harvesting mein this is your yield basically to this 30% gram is directly dependent on the economic yield so this after this example you will be able to understand what is harvest harvesting index there's an example the example will also help you to understand the same nutro physiology don't get with the word that nutro physiology ye kya hai cut it down into physiology and nutro nutro means nutrition that and physiology is processing the nutrition means plant ki nutrition na ki humans ki nutrition plant mein kya kya nutrition usko zarurat hai uske growth ke liye that will be included in nutro physiology is it pretty simple now ki 17 essential elements hain earlier there were 16 now there are 17 please take care of this thing 17 essential elements are required for plant growth and how they will affect the growth of plant and in what amount they are required that's nutro physiology transpiration efficiency or water use efficiency this topic i will not cover in detail because this will be covered in water uh, absorption by plants in the coming videos you just need to know that agar plant water le raha hai soil se it is directly linked with transpiration efficiency जितनी ज्यादा ट्रांसपेरेशन होगी उतना ही ज्यादा वाटर अपटेक होगा दिस इज द थिंग यू नीड टू रिमेंबर जितनी ज्यादा वाटर अपटेक उतनी ज्यादा ट्रांसपेरेशन जितना ज्यादा ट्रांसपेरेशन उतना ही ज्यादा वाटर अपटेक टोटल ट्रांसपेरेशन ऑफ क्रॉप कैनोपी दिस थिंग यू यू कैन रीड इट हियर ट्रांसपेरेशन एफिशिएंसी हार्वेस्टिंग इंडेक्स एंड ग्रेन यील्ड सो ग्रेन यील्ड इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन ऑल दीस थ्री फैक्टर्स पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट फिजियोलॉजी अगेन आई वुड से कि पूरा का पूरा पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट जो डिपार्टमेंट है वैल्यू एडिशन पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट डिपेंडेंट ऑन क्रॉस हार्वेस्ट फिजियोलॉजी इफ दिस इज नॉट क्लियर द पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट फिजियोलॉजी विल गो इन वेन इसको आपको समझने कैसे है कि 
अगर आपका एक पेड़ पे ऑन अ ट्री दिस एप्पल तो एप्पल जो है दिस एप्पल हाउ विट इट विल राइट कि मान लो अगर ये आफ्टर वन मंथ आफ्टर टू मंथ एक्चुअली अगर ये ग्रीन स्टेज में आ रहा है ग्रीन स्टेज देन आफ्टर हाउ मेनी डेज इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू रेड और पिंक मे बी अकॉर्डिंग टू वेराइटी एंड वेन डू यू है इफ यू हार्वेस्टेड इट विल इट डिके ये खराब तो नहीं हो जाएगा इन हाउ मेनी डेज ये खराब होगा और कैसे खराब होगा सबसे पहले कौन सा पार्ट खराब होगा क्या हम इसकी स्पॉयलेज uh, को रोक सकते हैं कैसे रोक सकते हैं विद वट इक्विपमेंट विद वट न्यूट्रीशन केमिकल्स इट इज रील विद पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट फिजियोलॉजी एग्जाम्पल इज देर यू कैन रीड इट ऑन स्लाइड शेयर अगेन ऑन पीपीटी फिजियोलॉजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ क्रॉप प्रोवाइड फंडामेंटल साइंटिफिक बेस ऑब्वियसली ऑल दीज थिंग्स साइंटिफिक नॉट जनरल टॉक fundamental scientific base about various as sorry aspects of metabolism growth and development metabolism is the various cell metabolites growth is the plant growth development is the plant differentiation thank you so much for your attention it's been a bit long video but it was essential for you to understand that how crop physiology and plant physiology will be linked and how they affect every other every single other department of agriculture you can find these videos on slideshare.com under my name anshur fogat and the link for the slideshare videos will be in the description below now do like share subscribe enjoy your lockdown at home be safe do learn